top or bottom. What I'm talking about is where do we place our charred material when we are using flint and steel ignition because we didn't cover this in any of the other videos. I want you to first watch this because this should make up your mind almost immediately. We're gonna use the 45 degree method and we're gonna use our striker. I am here in my yurt so you're gonna see these sparks a lot better because it's a little bit darker inside here. So once we strike, watch the top first the bottom. Everything is coming over the top side, so that would only make sense to take our charred material and lay it across that top piece. Now what I like to do is prep it by putting it almost at the edge. You can see that there's about an eighth of an inch between the charred material and the edge of my rock. Now it might take a couple times. Don't get frustrated and just start hitting it harder. Even myself, I can control this to a specific point but those sparks have to do their job with the charred material. If there's any moisture in that charred material, there's a good probability it's not gonna catch right away. So tell, I also tell people, work in your workspace up close because if a spark hits that charred material, give it some oxygen. Think about the triangle of fire that we talked about. 45 degrees, hit, and that quick. You see I gave it some oxygen, we have material burning. Very simple, very easy, very effective. So I hope this clears the airway a little bit with flint and steel ignition. Um, there's a lot of techniques we can go on more advanced. If you're interested in that, comment below, let me know, and I'll definitely go over that stuff. But overall, flint and steel, keep that angle, scrape material, keep your char cloth on top, you will be set to go. This was Dan Wolwak with Coal Cracker Bushcraft. Until the next video, Stay in the woods, guys.